Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is sets in Tableau with their use case. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. And if you want to learn Tableau from the scratch, you can refer our Tableau crash course beginner series. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So what is set? Set is a custom field that is created based on some specific condition. Set is represented by this symbol. Set can be static and dynamic. Set shows in slash out members from a field. The members which are included in sets comes under in and others come under out. Okay. So in previous video, we discussed about groups. In group, we select members manually and create a group so group was static but set can be static and dynamic okay so let's see how we can create and use sets in tableau so i'm using sample superstore data set for this tutorial i will provide the link in the description box to download this data set so before starting this video one thing you should remember we can create sets only for dimension not for measures okay so let's create a set so right click on any field go to create go to sets okay when you click on set a pop-up will come here you can create your sets okay you can define the name here so let me give customer set okay and there are three types general condition and top under general we can select from the list if you want to select all value you can select on all if you want to unselect all these value you can select on none if you want to exclude some specific value you can just select this value and and check on exclude okay and now for custom value in custom value if there are multiple members in a field so what you can do is you can just search for their name and click on okay if i search for adam so i can see there are five adams for this and i can i just select this and use in a set okay use all if you want to use all the members from the field you can just go for use all okay now coming to conditions so in condition let's suppose i want all the members from the category whose count is equal to one means i don't want their duplicate value so i just i can provide this condition here okay and if i want to see its minimum range of value and maximum range of value you can just click on load Okay, so minimum value is 1 and max value is 41. Okay, and if you want to create a formula by yourself, you can just type here. So this is how you can use conditions. And now coming to top. So in top, you can find out top and bottom values. Okay, if I want to find out top 5 customer with sales, so I can just select top 5 sales. And if you want to use some average median count distant count based on your requirement okay so this is how you can find out top five and if you want to select bottom so now it will give you bottom five values okay and if you want to create a formula by yourself so you can just go by formula and create your and type your formula here okay so as of now i am creating a set for top five customer with sales okay and now just rename it rename the set to five customers and click on okay so when you create a set as you can see a field is creating our data set with set symbol okay and let's see if we can create this on measure or not go to create and you can see there is a no set option available for measure okay this is how you can create a set this is method one and if we talk about method two just drag it and this method are similar to group as well that we discuss in group okay so let's drag field let's drag sales okay so if you want to create a set for uh, Aaron so you can just select this value go to this symbol this set symbol and create set okay and you can click on okay so you can see a set is created with this name okay 
and if we want to create a set for these value you can just select so if you want to select for Adam select the values here from the bar and either you can right click on it and create a set okay as you can see we have created a set for this value okay so these are the three ways to create a set which is quite similar to all the three ways that we discussed in group as well okay now coming to their use case so there are multiple use case of sets so today we will discuss two most important use case of sets which is very important from interview point of view as well okay so first one is top n and bottom n values using sets in a same view okay first one is top n and bottom n values in same view right so as we know we can select top and bottom n values from a filter as well but we can select both values okay let's drag customer name and sales and if I want to find out let's do it by filter so as you can see we can select let's select top 5 okay we can select it by top 5 right but how we can get top 5 and bottom 5 values by using sets okay so for this let's create a set for top 5 and one for bottom 5 okay I think we already created a set for top 5 customers so let's create a set for bottom 5 customer rename the set bottom 5 customers go to top by field go to bottom bottom 5 search for sales and click on ok so we have created two sets one for top 5 customer one for bottom 5 customer ok what we will do is we will combine these sets and create a combined set okay so how we can do it just click on top 5 or bottom 5 customer create combined set okay let's rename it first top 5 and bottom 5 customers okay so here we have top 5 customer set and let's select bottom 5 customer as well okay so there are four options available all members in both set we want all members from top 5 and bottom 5 okay if we want so the second option is shared member in both set we don't want shared members right because we want to show top 5 and bottom 5 okay if we want to show top 5 customer accept shared members or bottom 5 accept shared member okay you can choose this is basically work like a join okay if you want to separate your members by any delimiter you can specify here okay let me specify here for this and you can see example here and just click on okay so we have created a set for top 5 and bottom 5 customers so let's drag our customer name and drag our top 5 and bottom 5 customer so as you can see these are our top 5 and bottom 5 customer let's sort these values so as you can see these are the bottom 5 customer and these are top 5 customer okay so this is how you can create top 5 and bottom 5 in a single view okay so our second use case is how we can show top 1 to 10 and top 11 to 20 members and other members as others in a same view using sets okay so let's see let's rename the sheet first top 1 to 10 
11 to 20 and others in a view so for this let's create a set for top 10 customers let's rename it top 10 customers go to top buy field select with sales and top and just click on okay okay one set is created with top 10 customer from here we can easily find out our one to top 10 customer okay so let's find our 11 to 20 customers for this let's create a set let's rename the set first top 20 customer okay 20 with sales and click on okay from top 20 though so this set has value till top 20 customer okay so how we can find out 11 to 20 customer okay for this let's create a combined set and rename it top 11 to 20 customers select top 20 customer so from here what we want is we want top 20 customer except shared member so what we don't want this top customer we does we want only 11 to 20 customers okay so we are excluding our share members that is 1 to 10 so so that we can get our 11 to 20 customers and just click on okay okay now let's create a calculated field to use all these value let's rename it use case second so if we have top 10 customer then it will give us top 10 customers else if we have top 11 to 20 customer then it should show us top 11 to 20 customers else all other member come will become under others and end okay now let's drag our use case second and drag our sales and rather than using things use this chart and let's drag our use case in label as well okay go for entire view so you can see these are the top 10 members and these are top 11 members 11 to 20 members and these are others okay this is how you can use sets to find out top 1 to 10 11 to 20 and all others come under others okay thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos